morning, good morning, good morning. Praise God. Guess what, guys? You made it. You made it to the land of the living. You are t on top of the grass. You made the wake up list. That's enough to give God glory this morning to wake up with a smile on your face because you made it. Somebody didn't see today. Somebody didn't see the sunrise, but God allowed you grace and mercy through that day to see today. Glory be to God. We really take that so for granted because so many people get up in the morning and they don't know that that's their last day. They already have plans going on. They um, are thinking about what they're getting ready to do for the day, not realizing that that is the day that they're going to take their last breath. And I want us to really think about that that you made it you made it to a brand new day glory be to god thank you so much lord lord for allowing me to see a brand new day yesterday the enemy was working on me and my phone <laughs> i was trying to get this message together and he wouldn't let me copy and paste he would i was refusing to just type each one i was like oh my god this is horrible but you know yesterday we talked about um i'm sorry good morning um walter good morning sister um i didn't see the text i'm sorry i'll take a look at it um good morning robert um, he said, I say that all the time. Yes, Robert. Um, so I posted a sermon today that I thought was really relevant to what we were talking about. So you guys, I posted it in um, the group. Take a moment to listen to that today. Um, again, while we're fasting, we're supposed to be filling ourselves, filling our spirit up. We're supposed to be feeding um, ourselves with the word. So you should be listening to the word while you're fasting. Um, so uh yesterday we talked about what proverbs woman um what a husband should be looking for um in a wife today we're talking about husband material what we should be looking for when we um are considering that this should be my husband um where i'm coming from it talks about um overseers in the church but i still thought this was good because it talks about being a leader and that's really what you want when you're looking for your mate you want to look for a man that has the ability to be a leader because guess what um god does everything in order and i'm going to tell you about that too when i read the second scripture so you should be looking for a man that has the capability to be a leader um so we're going to first timothy thank you holy spirit we're going to first timothy three two through six Seven. It says a leader must be well thought of, right? Committed to his wife. You, you hear that? It says committed to his wife, right? So not multiple wives, not, you know, um, a, a wife with a girlfriend on the side, not a wife with a husband. Like you're committed to your wife, right? Um, you're cool and collected. Like you you have a, a smooth uh, kind of movement about yourself. Like you cool, like you don't get angry about things. Like, you know, um, you don't lose your cool. Like you're not snapping or, um, you know, you're not violent, right? Um, you're uh, accessible and hospitable. If people need you, you you're, you're there. You're accessible to people, right? You're accessible um, by your wife. If she needs you, you're there. You're accessible to the kids. If they need you, you're there, right? You're not going out trying to pursue some career, um, which, you know, it's cool that you can do that, but that doesn't come before your family, right? Um, you make sure that you are accessible for um, your family and for those people that need you. Um, it says, um, you must know that what he he must know what he's talking about like you can't just be rambling like you got to be educated knowledgeable right these are the this these qualities you should be looking for when you're um thinking of marrying someone right these are things you should be looking for and this is what you should be looking for before you lay up with them not trying to figure it out after you've already had sex if he has these qualities it's it's probably too late by then he probably has none of these qualities and you don't already gave him your cookies <laughs> um so um, he should be not he should know what he's talking about not be over fond of wine so he shouldn't be a drunkard you know he should not just be getting you know drunk all the time i know we feel like yeah, that's that's cool that's sociable everybody drinks but he should not be a person that is over fond with it meaning he should not be a person that gets drunk right um <laughs> He said you closer than you think. Glory be to God. Um, so yes, yeah, so he he should he should not be over fond of wine. Not not pushy, but gentle. Men, you must be gentle. Right? As a leader, you must be gentle. 
gentle. But men be like, I, that ain't me. I ain't no. <laughs> the Bible says you must be gentle, right? Um, and let a woman teach you what that is. <laughs> you know, it's different for each woman. You know, every woman is different. You have to learn her what type of gentleness she needs, right? Um, and uh, wives, look for this in men if, if he's gentle with you, right? Um, that that this speaking to people, those of us who may be in abusive relationships, that's not what God intended for you. If he's abusing you mentally, physically, emotionally, that's not gentleness, right? Glory be to God. Um, he said, um, not thin skin, not money hungry, right? You should not be operating just based on money. Remember, I was just talking about you just pursuing a, a career and your family can't assess you. You're, you're not accessible to your family. Your wife can't get in contact with you because you're too busy trying to chase the dollar. I understand that you, uh, you're one of your roles as a provider, but you have multiple things that you should, should, you should be able to provide for her. And it's not just money. Most women, um, I know we've gotten to this, this stage where women just chasing men who have money but guess what that fades <laughs> that fades you know eventually that's why we have so many women that are um, are cheating like it's cool that you can provide for me money wise but then those some, a lot of those women got men on the side that's provi providing different things for them come on god yeah she said come on sis this is so good glory be to god um this is <laughs> yes all glory be to god he said um he must handle his own affairs well right he must handle his own affairs well attentive to his children and having their respect because if you can't handle your own house if you can't take care of your own house how do you expect to go out and handle things in the world right like that's this representation of the world i mean of your house is representation of the world how you treat your house is how you're going to come out into the world so if you can't be attentive um and be all these things to the people that's in your house how can you go out into the world women look for these things in your mate before you uh, decide that you're going to marry him decide on if he have these things uh, line this up hey before we even get to um definitely read that sermon that i posted before we even get to the bedroom are you meeting any of these things here um and remember i talked about that god does things in order so this is why i said it's good for us to listen to this one even though he's talking about a leader in the church this still applies to um the man that you're looking for too because it says in second peter 15 and 9 so don't lose a minute in building on what you've been given complementing basic faith with good character spiritual understanding alert discipline, passionate patience, reverent wonder, warm friendliness, and generous love, each dimension fitting into and developing the other. So each one of those developing or the other, like you can't have one without the other, right? God does everything in order. Um, and God also says that the man, first Christ commits, I mean, is, is, uh, is, has authority under God. And this is what we're going to talk about tomorrow, um, the order of things. Um, so I'm not going to go into that scripture, but tomorrow we're going to talk about the order of things. But God does everything in order. And you must, your man must have leadership qualities. Look for leadership qualities when you're looking for a husband. Because guess what? He's the head. No matter how the society has fed it that you, you know, you're a single woman, you're an independent woman, you should be doing this and this. But if you're trying to be in a marriage that lasts, then you must understand the, the authority of things, the way God has set things in order. And the man is the head. So being the head, you must lead. Right. And the enemy knows that. That's why there's such an attack on men. If I attack the head, then the body is going to fail. If without the head, the body can't function. So if the man is the head we must be able we must give him that authority and this is the type of man that you should be looking for one that can lead you one that can guide you right one that can be at the head glory be to god this is what we should be looking for um hallelujah give me one minute um you guys to be able to you know what when i'm really into my <laughs> into this word i don't get not one red light <laughs> I guess that's like the Holy Spirit said, go, <laughs> just go with it. You flowing. <laughs> but I'll be like, give me a red light so I can read what y'all saying. <laughs> but yeah, um, 
So today we're talking about husband material. Yesterday we talked about the Proverbs woman. I told you what you should be looking for um, when you're looking for a wife. And now I'm telling the women what you should be looking for when you're looking for a husband. Glory be to God. There are some things that you must have him align with, right? Not just in this description. I didn't hear it say anything about the body. <laughs> I didn't hear him say anything about the looks. None of that. I mean, God is, I, I believe God not going to send you nothing that you're not attracted to because that's just how when men operate. They see first. So I don't believe that God is going to send you somebody that you're not attracted to. So that comes. God says, if you seek me, all things will be added unto you. So all uh, good things. Our thoughts towards you is good. So I don't think he's going to give you someone that you're not attracted to. So that's really not a, something you need to be worried about. You need to be aligning his actions his integrity, his morals with that, that scripture that I just gave you. Um, and I believe it is, it's first Timothy three, two and seven. I see that, um, Monique went ahead and put, um, second Peter two and nine in there for me, but I don't know if you put that one, if you can put first Timothy three, two through seven, you need to find out, make sure that whoever it is that you, um, and another thing, I, when you're seeking your husband, when you're looking to be found, <laughs> I'm going to change it to that because I want you to understand that you are the prize, women. You should be found. You should not be pursuing the man. <laughs> just like in that sermon, I just told you, if the man, if the man asks you for, if the man don't ask for your number, don't give it to him. <laughs> you should not be pursuing him. It's, it's, it's if when a man finds a wife. So what you should be doing is um, preparing yourself, operating and moving as a wife so that you can be found. Right. You should not be pursuing men. You should not be DMing the, the dude that you think is cute. You should not be running up to him trying to get his number. That's not how God intended it. You should not. I tell my, my daughter all the time, like, stop being boy crazy. Men are hunters. They are meant to hunt. Right. And once they catch what it is that they're hunting, the it's gone. <laughs> they, they don't need to hunt anymore like you don't need to pursue the man that's not how it goes your job is to build yourself and operate in the spirit of a wife so that you can be found by a husband I know y'all don't want to hear that. I know this, this, the way the society is right now, that's not how we operate. It's women's lib, women's power, um, independent woman. We can go after the man that we want. But I'm telling you, look at how those relationships really are turning out. Because they went out of the order of things. That is not the order of things. You should not be chasing a man, right? You should not be pursuing him. He should be pursuing you, right? And then when he when he does says that or he makes it clear to you he says to you that i am pursuing you right when he does that then you need to start aligning it up like hey um let me see okay now you're pursuing me does he match these qualities right does he match these qualities elite he said a leader must be well thought of committed to his wife cool and collected accessible and hospitable he must know what he's talking about not be over fond of wine not pushy but gentle not thin-skinned not money hungry he must handle his own affairs well attentive to his children and having their respect uh, make sure he aligns with those things right make sure that he is a man of his word i really feel that is so important if you have a man that don't keep his promises that don't keep his word mm, that's that's already bad behavior that's not husband material because if he can't keep his word on the simple things he definitely not gonna keep his vows ha! think about that if he can't keep his word on the smaller things if he can't show up on time when he's supposed to or if he is not a man of his word He's not going to be a man of integrity and morals when it comes to his vows, period. Like, I know people, this is not a popular message. <laughs> Men don't really want me to, you know, say these type of things because they're getting away with a whole lot of stuff right now. <laughs> Women is allowing them to do any type of thing, right? We okay with um, 
being mistresses. We okay with being the girl on the side. We okay as long as we got a piece of a man, we okay with having a man. Like, no, we got to get out of that mentality. Period. And I'm not even talking just to you. I'm talking to myself. I y'all already know my story. I dealt with somebody that was married for seven years because I was okay with having a piece of a man. Glory be to God. I'm no longer in that position. You can't get me like that no more. I want my own husband. I even had somebody come to me and was like, hey, me and my wife already talked about it. Would you like to be um, in our relationship? You will be another wife. No, I want my own husband. I want my own. I'm, I'm worthy of that. Why? Because I present myself as a wife. I walk as a wife. I, I know that I have the wife mentality. So I'm not going to let another man strip me of that title. Right? So now that I'm getting into this word, God is showing me this is what you should be looking for. That's what's so wonderful about the word because a, a lot of us wasn't taught what we should be looking for. We just went off of how we felt about a, a person. He, he seems like he a good dude, right? He seems like, or, you know, he, I'm attracted to him or, you know, that part. Like, that's that's really how we get into these relationships. We go to the bedroom first and then try to figure the rest out later. Try to figure out what type of man he is after we've already given up ourselves. After we've already taken and received what he has to offer. Because guess what? Whoever you slept with, you now have received them. You received their DNA. You are now a part, a part of them is now a part of you. Some of us are walking around with 15, 20 different people in us. Right? I'm, I, I know y'all like it. I'm just being real. I'm just being real like you walk you wonder why you got all these different uh, moves going on or why you can't seem to figure out yourself because one you so tied to different people Two, you have all these different people walking around in you and I'm not condemning nobody I'm not convicting nobody I just want you to have self reflection right now and think about what it is that you're doing and think about what it is that you are asking God to do for you right now in this season we are fasting fasting asking God to provide us with our spouse what is it should we be looking for when God brings that spouse to us what should he align with Yes, my best said transparent, real, and unedited. That's the church I go to. Yes, we go to a true church, right? Evolve Nation. Yes, we are um, uh, two services, 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock at Vincent High School. We will be in our new church on September 4th on 76th and Mill Road. Come see about us. Let us love on you. Yes, but we are a true church. My pastor keep it real, and I'm going to keep it real. Like, I just want to be transparent with you because I don't want to trick you. That's what we've been deceived. Um, that's how we got into a lot of these relationships we've been tricked and deceived right right glory be to god um yes deliverance from soul ties let me see what else um i can't stand when little girls <laughs> say stop being thirsty and you're forcing it i wish more women understood that god makes men hunters and definitely yes <laughs> oh i wish they would understand that uh, when you go again, they go get to when they can't lust after the man is shame, but you for telling the truth, right? But I, I just, um, I just want to tell the truth. Like we, we've been, we've been in the dark for too long, y'all. We gotta take these blinders off. We gotta stop walking around saying we woke, we liberated, and we really not. The enemy has really tricked you. He, he has really tricked you into believing a lie. No, this is not how the order goes. And the Bible clearly gives you definition of how the order goes. We're going to talk about the order tomorrow. I just wanted to give us definition of what we should be looking for when God presents um, your spouse to you. Because I don't want you tricked. Because again, I told you the enemy hears your prayers too. He will definitely wrap up a nice little package that looks like that this is what God sent to you. When really the enemy sent them to it. Pay attention to your relationships. Pay attention to what why people are sent. Pay attention to that. So I, I'm giving you the what you should be looking for. Yesterday, we talked about Proverbs woman. So men on here who are fasting with me and you're looking for your spouse, this is the type of woman you should be looking for. This is the type of wife you should be looking for. Um, go and review that yesterday um, was, this, was the word for yesterday. So go ahead and review it if you missed it. Today, we're talking about what, husband material. Um, my wives on here, I'm letting you know what you should be looking for, what you should be measuring that man up to before we lay with them. 
This is so important, you guys, before you lay with them. Some of you might even be see your um who God has for you during this fast. But and which is good because guess what? You're not supposed to be having sex while you fasting. Not supposed to be doing that. So this is a good time for us to meet our <laughs> our, our spouse because we already holding it tight, right? <laughs> Glory be to God. Uh, but yes, we want to find out what this man should be look like when God sent him to us. What that wife should look like when we find her, right? Um, and again, you shouldn't be pursuing him. He should be pursuing you. He should be hunting you. Um, <laughs> yes, he said, there ain't no shame in telling the truth. The truth just sets you free. I hope this truth just sets the people free. Glory be to God. Um, so let me go ahead and pray because I do need to get to work. Um, so our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil forever and ever. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Father, we give you honor today, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We thank you first for forgiving us of our sins, Lord God. Casting those sins into the lake of forgiveness, never again bringing it to your attention or mine. Father God, we thank you for giving us definition in your word of what it is we should be seeking and seeing when we are um, waiting for you to provide our spouse, Lord God. What it is that we should be doing, what it is is that helping us to recognize what our spouses should look like, what our husbands should look like, what our um, wives should look like, Lord God. We thank you so much for taking the time to give us description in your word, Father God, so that we are not deceived by the enemy, so we are not tricked by the enemy, by people that were sent to set us off track, Lord God. Lord God, I speak against any plan of the enemy right now, Lord Lord God, I cast it down to hell from which it came. I cancel its assignment on our lives, Father God. I, I ask that you remove the blinders, Lord God, so we are not deceived, Lord. Lord, send us, rain down on us a spirit of discernment, Father God, so we can recognize those people that are sent into our life to help us, to aid us in our assignment, and that we can recognize those who come to cancel and destroy our assignment. Father God, we thank you, Lord because you are a God of preparation and provisions. Father God, you already made a way for us. You already made ways for us to be able to see these things as before they come, Lord God. You are a God that is still speaking. You are a living God. Father, you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And we want to give you honor and praise for that because you are not a changing God. We can still count on a word that was written thousands of years ago to still apply to today because your word hasn't changed, God. We thank you, Father. Thank you for touching each and every one of the people that are hearing the sound of my voice. Thank you for bringing people into these lives, Father God, that needed to hear your word, Lord God. Open their ears to hear it, Lord God. Open their hearts to receive it, Father God. Allow your Holy Spirit to flow through me. Remove me out of the way and let your spirit um, speak for you, Father God, through me, Lord God. This is your vessel and I surrender it to you. Father, I thank you for being the God of all gods, the God, the Lord of all lords, Lord. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we can't forget about your son because through him is our, is our gateway to you, Lord God. And we thank you for sending your son. We thank you for him accepting the assignment to, to, to sacrifice his life, Lord. We thank you that his blood still works. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God, Lord. We thank you today on Worship Wednesday. We give you honor. We give you praise because you are so worthy. You are worthy of it, Lord. You are so worthy. I thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Father, we ask these prayers in the blessed name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. Um. Oh, Robert. You know what, Robert? I'm on YouTube. If she's not on Facebook, she can definitely catch these um, these these messages on YouTube. Um, so I'll actually I'll put it in the chat. Can I? I can't. Um, I can't. But it's Queen Tara Lee. Every on every platform is Queen Tara Lee. Um, so if she uh, goes on YouTube and look up Queen Tara Lee, she can find all of these messages. So um, Robert, definitely direct her over to um, YouTube. If um, and guys, I want you to know that I am on YouTube. Direct people over there. If you can't, you know, if they're not on Facebook but they need to hear these messages, they can find these messages on YouTube. I do put them on YouTube. Um, 
So that's another place you could find them. Um, he said, my cousin just started going to Evolve Church. Glory be to God. Welcome. I know she love it. I know she love it. Um, <laughs> yes, we are a true church. We are a loving church. We still believe in um, the the Bible, like, right? We still believe in the message of God, right? We, we are a real church. I love my church. Um, and I know a lot of people say that, but I'm so serious about my church. I'm so serious. Um, and, I, and that's exciting for me because I've never been that way about a church. But this church, I'm serious. I'm so serious. I, I know that this church was sent to make change in Milwaukee, and that's what we need. Um, so come on out again. It, we're at Vincent High School right now. There's two services, um, 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Um, and if, yes, Monique, she said, period. Yep. Um, and we're at Vincent Church. If you, in September 4th, we'll be in our new church. was on 76 and Mill Road. Come and see what we're doing. We are definitely trying trying to make change in Milwaukee. That is what I love about my pastor. Um, um, what's the use? It's Queen Tara Lee. Yep. So Queen Tara Lee. If you guys can put that in the chat, somebody put that in the chat for me. Queen Tara Lee um, is where you can find these messages. Um, so every every day after I finish here, I do um, post them onto my YouTube page so that everybody can be, because not everybody want to be on fa Facebook. Not everybody want to be in the mess. But I tell people all the time, your page is what you make of it. You don't have to. If you go on my page, you don't see no messiness because I'm not messy. Right. And I don't allow it on my page. If some, somebody posts something messy i'm deleting it because that's not my that's not what i want in my space right remember that in my space y'all remember that <laughs> maybe i'm too old but yeah <laughs> that's not what i want in my environment um yes yes uh monique she went ahead and put that address for you um vincent high school 7501 north granville road 10 a.m to 12 p.m is the services come on out let us love on you right let us love on you that's what we truly believe in we are a church that is basic um that is about love right that is about loving you exactly where you are and then that's the only thing we're commanded to do is love you god gonna do the rest right that's it no judgment you know we trill we we, we are true church transparent real and unedited we gonna keep it real with you though <laughs> so don't come in there think it's gonna be sugar-coated we're gonna keep it real but we still gonna love on you right and then let god do the rest let god do his thing right because we we can't step in the place of god god tells us <laughs> yes pastor kenneth flock is our pastor yes um Walter said he graduated from Vincent High School. Well, come on back. Come on back, Walter. So guess what? I love y'all. There's nothing you can do about it. Let me get on out of here. I am super late, but I don't care because I, I just got passionate about to this message, right? Um, so I love you guys. There's nothing you can do about it. Accept it and move on. God loves you more. Today is Worship Wednesday. Take time out today while you're fasting to worship God, to give him your um, praise. Um, God loves praisers. He does. He loves praisers. So take time out to just give him some praise today. So, um, and don't let it be every day. Don't let just because I labeled this worship Wednesday, this only day you worship him, give him praise every day because you deserve it. The fact he deserves it. The fact that you woke up this morning, get, give him some praise for that because somebody didn't make it. So you guys have a wonderful and blessed day of God willing. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.